YouTube, it's your girl Julie Should Be, and today I'm here to show y'all how I got this soft glam look, y'all. Everyday fall look, you know, it's not too much, not too little. You look like you try, but not too hard. Skin looking flawless, boo, flawless. So if you want to see how I got it, make sure you stay tuned. If you want to see how I got this hair, where this hair is from, is it my hair? Is it not? Click on the link below or up top. I don't know which one comes first, but I am posting every day in October. It's called VTober. So if you want to see me every day pop up on your subscription box, girl, click the subscribe button below. Turn your notifications on. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and let's get into the makeup. So, y'all know I got dry skin, so I don't prime, obviously. Because if I prime, I might as well just... Well, I haven't found a good primer that I like. If I found a, if I found a really good hydrating primer, I might use it. But honestly, I just use my regular face moisturizer, and that's enough for me because I have super dry skin, like extremely dry. So, yeah, not for me. But I'm using my Too Faced Chestnut Born This Way foundation. It's an old faithful. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Y'all know. I honestly, I have tried other foundations. I just really like this one the best. But I said I was gonna try to find another one. So I don't always use the same foundation, but this foundation works for me. And I like it. For brows, I'm using this Make a Revolution brow pencil. I really like the NYX one. I went to go buy a new one because I used I Love It and of course they didn't even have NYX one in stock. So I saw this one and it looked comparable so I got it. So I really like it too. It's cheaper than the NYX one and it works literally just the same. So if y'all looking for um, an eyebrow pencil that's like affordable and it works good, try to make a Revolution one. I don't know what color it's in. I'm sure it's in the dark, like a dark brown. I've really been into the last dawn looking brows. Um, I really like if you if you into makeup like me, you probably watch Aaliyah's face. I love her brows, like the way she does her brows. I don't have any of those products, so I thought gonna go out this week and find like and just look up her video and go buy everything she used for her brows and try it out because like I need it. My brows getting thick. Cause she thick. Thick. That's how I feel about my brows right now. They getting thick. Like, girl. I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't got my brows done in, I don't know. Can't even tell you the last time. Probably at least, no. I think I haven't done right at the beginning of quarantine. And I got them wax. And they look good, but. I haven't got them done since then. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. So I bought this new brush set from Amazon. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, they kind of smell like, they kind of smell weird a little bit, but they look like they're really good quality brushes. Um, I'll link them below. If y'all want me to do, I've been buying so much beauty stuff from Amazon lately. So if y'all want me to do a little Amazon haul, I will. So let me know below if you want me to do if you want me to do that. But I'm gonna carve out my brows. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna do the bottom. I might not even do the top because they look crispy enough to me. And I just cannot stand that white, not white, but light cast above my brows. And for some reason, I have a master not having it. So I'm just not even gonna worry about it. But I'm gonna take. My next gotcha cover it. Gotcha cover. Gotcha cover found I mean I cannot talk today. So I'm gonna take my NYX gotcha cover uh concealer in the color tan just to go under my brows. This is a thicker concealer. It's super thick. That's why I like to use it um under my brows and kind of bring it onto my lid. Because it's gonna it's gonna stay. So I'm gonna take my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, y'all. This concealer is everything. 
like I'm gonna say everything everything this is in the color T100 golden amber perfect color you don't need a lot I have definitely learned that less is more on the concealer on the concealer tip and literally this is all the concealer I use this is the only concealer I use now and I literally only use a little like I cannot OD on concealer I will look crazy crazy if I do like my chin already look bright it dries down really matte which is what I like I can't do the shiny concealer thing like I really I really hate it you see that oh my god this is so perfect i'm gonna put a little bit on my lids just to conceal a little bit and maybe just like one more tab right here because i do have dark circles so you need a little bit extra it's like the perfect highlight but not like super bright. I'm totally over the super bright highlight. Not for me no more. Period. I'm taking my Juvia's Place in number eight, the concealer, just to contour. Yeah, I know I need the contour. And this is like not a super dark contour. And it's not really muddy, which I have a huge issue with my contour just looking like mud. I, I don't really like that. I'm going to take my concealer one more time and put it straight down my nose. Literally the thinnest one ever. Okay, so I'm taking my Sephora palette. I've had it for so long. But this, this contour color a bronzer if you want it to be a bronzer or contour it is the perfect shade of brown for me so i'm gonna take it and bronze my face up a little bit Laura, Mer Laura Mercier translucent powder. I did see some other powders I want to try, so I think I'm gonna try one of the other ones that people suggest because I've had I've been using this powder for years. This is the magic touch. Okay, so I want to do like a really cute neutral looking eye. So I'm going to take my Make a Revolution with Patricia Bright palette. Y'all, this palette is everything. If you didn't get your hands on this palette, girl, you should have. Because when I tell when I tell you it's this, this 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 palette is everything the payoff is so good the pigmentation is so good like i can't i can't complain queen and model mix them together and do it in my crease more of the queen less of the model i don't want it to be i don't want it to be too dark I use Queen and Model in my crease just because it's like super close to the same color as my contour. And I want it to look like soft glam, like glazed donut, glazed donut. 
<laughs> that's what I, that's what I'm going for today. Glaze donuts. So I want to do a super matte lid, but I want it to be bright. So I'm gonna take the color Halegent. That's an ugly name, and I don't like that name. Halegent, which is this super light new color and put it on my lid it's a really good it's almost white looking lid color it's for me i'm also going to take it and put it right on my brow bone because i need my brow bone to be matte i need it to be matte I don't want no shiny brow bone. So I'm gonna go back in with this with the color queen and put it right under in my lash line because I need that to be smoke, smoky, smoky, smoky. So I'm gonna take a tighter brush. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go in with the model and put it closer to my lash, closer to my lash line. So I'm also taking and put it across my my lash line on the top, the same model, but dark brown color, kind of like an eyeliner, but not an eyeliner. So I'm gonna take the same Sephora palette and use this burgundy blush. Blush is like I have to have now. I used to not not really wear blush, but now it's like I got to. I have to. Like I don't have a choice. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray my face before I do like eyeliner and mascara and all that because I feel like if I wait gonna look weird so or it might smudge so I'm going to spray it. I'm using my Morphe spray Woo! that's the best part I'm telling y'all spray it's the best part do you see my skin do you see my skin I'm debating if I want to actually put on liquid liner. I kind of don't even want to deal with the liquid liner. I just want to put my lashes on. But then I feel like I might regret it if I don't put on the liquid liner. But liner can like take it to like dramatic vibes. And I really want to have like soft vibes. I don't really want dramatic. So I might just do a little liner. Maybe just a little. I want the smallest amount of liner. I don't even want a wing. Let's see, girl. That's it. That's it. All right. So the lashes I'm using are uh, lashes that I'm about to start selling on J Honey Hair. So if you want to get these lashes, I haven't put them up yet, but I'm basically testing them out to see if I like them. They're in the style spooled. And yeah, these lashes are. Oh, I dropped them. These lashes are fire. Fire, fire. I'm back on the duo lash glue. Like, I never really was into duo. Because I was like, I'm using hair glue on my eyelashes type of girl, which is so fucking ghetto. Alright, I'm going to go and put my wig on before I put my lips on. I'm going to do that last. So, I'll be right back with my hair done. Okay, so I went and did my hair. If you want to know how I got this look or where this hair comes from, it's above or below. I don't know if I'm posting this video before or after this one. But now it's time for the lips. I'm going to do a cute little nudie. A cute little nudie nudie look for y'all. So, alright. Let's get into it. I'm my Morphe. B not BFF. Bite Me Lip Pencil. It's just like a true brown. And I'm taking my Anastasia Lip Gloss in the color Toffee. Which is a really good nude.
Alright, the last little touch, I'm taking my Kiss Glow and Bronze palette, which I absolutely love. I got this from the Beauty Supply Store. You can get it from your Loga Beauty Supply Store. I'm just taking out my finger, dab some right on my nose. It's like the perfect glow. Put a little bit right here. It's like the perfect amount of glow for your face. Like, big. Take a little bit, put it right on the top of my lip. What can you say? What can you say? So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is like my everyday type of fall makeup routine. If I wear makeup, this is like the exact thing I would do. It's nothing too crazy. I look very polished. You know, my skin looks Natural doesn't look super overdone and that's what I was going for and that's what I kind of go for on a daily basis. So if you guys like this video, make sure you come back tomorrow for the next VTuber video and I'll see y'all in the next one.